honest like people like me. It lies. I'm fighting with myself on whether or not to address some of this bullshit that's going on around here. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Okay. For those of you who aren't interested in Spreaker drama, pay no attention to what I'm fixing to say because it will make no sense to you out there. And um, I will address some of it. Not all of it because it's all a bunch of bullshit. But I will address some of it. How about that, huh? I'll do that. All right. And this is just off the top of my head. To the news guy. You are a drama queen. You tried your damnedest to stay away from it, and you couldn't. There was no way for you to stay away from it. You are like a ponytailed little girl that sits on the... On the... On the curb of... Of complete indecency and everything everything bad and you preach to trolls you have a troll show that's all you have that's all you'll ever have because you are you have proven to be nothing but just a bottom feeder okay to desert rose you come across as sweet and innocent and stupid and you lie about me continuously I will not address it specifically because I've gone through it before. You know what you're lying about, and one day it will catch up to you in the form of karma, if it hasn't already. Uh, let's see, to Guy Shay. Guy Shay, um, I will say first of all, prove, that dramatic music is getting too loud, prove number one that I'm the one that had you 404 would Okay, I'd like to see you prove it. Uh, if you did get 404 would by somebody making a complaint, it was not me. It was probably, I'm going to say, it was between Hassan, maybe Audrey, maybe FRD. I don't know. Isn't it funny that somebody that came across just over the last two weeks, why would I make a complaint about Guy Allen Shay when he had been making fun of me for approximately eight months? I was used to his stupid bullshit, and in fact, Guy does it in a way that's funny. He does it, he tells people I was a prostitute. He tells people that I, you know, that Victor left me, that, that Heather, me and Victor got married in 85, Heather was born in 87. I mean, unless I had a two-year pregnancy, how would I have been pregnant when we got married? My in-laws love me. They're always calling me all the time. We're always together. My family and I were as close as we could ever be, as you well know. I don't know. The only thing I can think of, he just makes this stuff up, and I think it's fun. It's almost funny in a way. Um, but um, to the rest of you people out there, and you know who you are, um, you know what I said yet last night. I stand by that. But for all of you little mullets out there that are following along and, and in your little chanting and everything, it's never worked before, and it's not going to work this time. Because you cannot... Thank you. Cream always rises to the top, and good always beats evil. Always. You can tell. Oh, one more thing. Don't trust everybody that's in your little circle.